Hello everyone and welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4 Black Eyes. In the last episode we were preparing for, actually I think, it, no we were not preparing for uh, the Battle of Britain because we did that the episode before that. Last episode we upgraded the whole army. So everyone should have more and better stuff now. Still low on oil and rubber, but nothing I can change that. Nothing I can do about that. So let's see, what are we low on? Pezzer 1's are good, Pezzer 2's are good, Pezzer 3's, Pezzer 4. Toad anti-tank, horse artillery is all good. Uh, heavy truck, artillery. Artillery? Ooh, we're finally good on artillery. Now we're low on medium artillery. Okay. And we're good on transport vehicles. Oh, wow. Now that surprises me that we're good on all of that. That surprised me a lot. So now we're low on heavy artillery, or medium artillery actually. So this one, basic medium artillery. Uh, let's put that up, uh, up over there then. So let's take off three factories. I said let's take off three factories. There we go. Add them, add them again. Okay, there we go. So these should be getting built now. Should, 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 should start getting built. Ooh, English. It's hard today. It really is. So, current wars, the German-Polish, half million loss, not that bad. Italy is uh, having a tough time, because they got they find themselves in a little pocket over here. Which is, um, not gonna lie, that, that, that really sucks for them. That really does suck for them. Okay, so we have the Grenzwacht artillery and we have the Grenzwacht. Okay, so, who was the guys with the, I think these ones were the ones with the MPs, right? Yes. So these one were the MPs, so there we go, military police. And these were the coastal defense guys, so there you go. We're gonna get assigned to that one. Which means I could extend this fallback line. Hopefully to Fortress Holland. Like that. There we go, Fortress Holland. That should be good. No divisions in training, I know that. What I am thinking is probably create some SS divisions. SS infantry motorized. What is your division made up? Ooh, that's a pretty good de template. What is this one? What's the difference between these two? SS motorized infantry, that's nine. SS motorized infantry, that's also nine. What is the difference between you two? Sport equipment 140. Sport equipment 110. I think these are different. Let's see. What else can I add? Flamethrower squads. Ooh. What is their width? Eight, 18? Wow, that's not bad. Does that mean I need to build flamethrowers? I don't think so. I don't think I can build flamethrowers, can I? Um, I think that would fall under support equipment. Which I think we should be good on. Yes, 2000. Okay, so we're good on that. So, let's go to... This was the one I just added. Yes. So train, let's do five of them, let's do them three times, and deploy them in Sassen, or Sassen, Sassen, I don't know, I don't know how, uh, what it's called. So, low on transport vehicles again, what a surprise, what a surprise. So we got these guys. Do you have MPs as well? I mean, Totenkopf. Yeah. I was about to say, like, you're Totenkopf. You're supposed to have military police. Because, you know, you're the Totenkopf. So, let's see construction. It looks like the infrastructure is coming along quite well. Yeah, it really does look like it's coming along quite well. Not bad, not bad, not bad. At least still holding out here. 
And I, I just figured that I had a lot of subs over here. I had I have 14 subs. I don't know why, because I thought I deployed them all here, but alright. So let's grab these 14 subs. Let's do convoy raiding. Let's raid their convoys here in the Mediterranean Sea. And grab these six ships. Make them convoy escort. Actually, no, because I don't think I am using any any escort, uh, any convoys anymore. So let's do convoy raiding right over here at the Iberian coast. There we go. Now I do need to give you a leader. So let's do Hermann Boom. Let's do let's do Hermann Boom. I wonder, is there a is there a general? against uh, partisans or rebels terrible general Alfred Jodl okay reckless general Waffen SS you would think the Waffen SS would have you know something against partisans incompetent general Heismeyer never heard of Heismeyer not gonna lie terrible general Bietrich Von den Bach, never heard of either. He's also a terrible general. Wow. All these generals are terrible for some reason. Wow, he looks a lot like Hitler. Yeah, I don't know. I don't think there are any. Oh, that's the commando. Nice. I don't think there are any generals with um, with that with that trade. Sadly. So we could go for rocketry now. Which I will gladly take. The one more military factory, which I will I will assign to. Um, well, we needed garrison equipment, so let's do one of that. There we go, one garrison equipment. Or well, garrison maintenance, actually. All right, it's looking good. Soviet Union still not really cares about me, about me massing on their border. They don't care at all. I still need to go for the anti-common turn packs as well. I don't know, what, what is Russia working on at the moment? Anti-capitalist diplomacy still. Alright, not bad. At least they're not doing war with Germany. That would suck. Let's see. Uh, if, if they would send these 10 guys in, it would really, really make it a lot easier on them. But apparently they're not going to, for some reason. For a reason that I do not understand. Japan, still fighting over here. Why is Japan not moving in? You got so many troops here. Why aren't you sending them in? It's, it's completely empty here, come on. Come on, Japan, get your head get your head out of your ass. So, am I influencing any nations? I can't remember. Yes, this one. Ooh, fifty percent. That's good. Now that's really good. That is really good. So, what do these guys have? Is it that template? Just headquarters. Okay. Okay, I can live with that. Henry Naval Battle Victory is that... Ooh, he sunk two destroyers! Wow, good job Wolfpack! Holy shit! Wolfpack actually did something good this time. Mm, one, ca one cruiser. We didn't sink anything though, which is good. Actually, they didn't sink anything, which is good. So we got some HU-111s again. Got some old, really old fighters as well. Zero bombers, 72 fighters, which should be taken out really easily. Nothing here. Some, oh, 1600 planes. Jesus Christ, that's a lot. I'm not gonna lie, that is a lot. We're low on Panzer IVs. Low on early war infantry equipment. That's fine. That is fine. Uh, let's see, planes, planes, planes. 
I might start another run of 109s. When we have the factories, of course. Because I feel like we're gonna need them. We're gonna need the 109s. Definitely. Oh, look at that, some Dutch ships. I didn't know the Dutch had a, had a fucking navy this big. Holy shit. That is a huge navy. Let's see. Nope, still no Russians. Well, over here. But they're still massing over here on uh, Romania and Hungary. For some reason. Would be good if I could get Bulgaria on my side. Why do you not want to join? Uh, Bulgaria has neutral foreign policy. We have a war they may may be drawn into. Okay, so they don't they just don't want war. That's basically what it is. Okay. Alright then. Alright. Well it's whatever, it's whatever. I mean I can just annex your ass as well if I wanted to. No biggie. That actually brought me onto an idea. I might actually do that. Do they have any good resources in there? They've got a lot of aluminum, a lot of chromium. No oil, sadly. Hmm. I might just do that. Okay, these guys are done training. You're good. Uh, you. You're all good as well. There you go. I might as well do that. Take Bulgaria. I mean, they got they got some nice resources that I uh, that I would like. They got some really nice resources. Hmm. How much does the U.S. have? Sixty-six, five hundred and eighty. Yeah. Well, okay, it's Texas. It's Texas, so that's not really a surprise. And Alaska should have some as well, I think. Alaska has none. I thought Alaska had oil too. Saudi Arabia should have a lot. Nope. This doesn't have much either. How about the Urals? It's not that much either. Huh. Interesting. Really interesting. I thought there would be a lot more. I really thought there would be a lot more. Ah, Italy, come on. Get your head out of your ass. Get your head in the game, please. I mean, they're doing good over here. Still surviving. Might be able to. I mean, they get 116 divisions here. Come on, Italy. You don't need all of them. You absolutely don't need all of them. Let's see. Alfred Saalrechter. You can go convoy raid right there. Maximum mission region count reach for all selected units. Oh, okay. Because there are two guys, okay. That's fine. That's fine. I can live with that. I can definitely live with that. We're having any fights? We have one over here. It's quite a lot. And these guys again, this fleet. Eastern North Sea. Fall of Hong Kong? Wow, what? what? When did you retake all of that? Jesus Christ, Japan. Japan, oh wow, Japan is pushing on to uh, Singapore as well. Oh, they got themselves a pocket as well. Holy shit, Japan, good job. Go you. Go you, Japan. You're doing good. If only Italy could do as good. That would be really good if Italy could do the same, but I don't think that's gonna happen anytime soon. I'm actually quite surprised we haven't sunk any any convoys yet. That might be because there are no convoys between them. I don't think I can see that. No, I don't. I, I don't think I can. I got 200 divisions. Soviet has 161 to 560. Okay. Oh, they're almost done with anti-capitalist diplomacy. Oh wow, that takes 210 days? 
Wow. That's why it, it takes them a long time. Holy shit. I did not think that would take 200 days. I honestly didn't. So how's the UK looking? Surrender progress wise. Zero. Okay. Apparently these do not count as um, VPs for England then. Or United Kingdom actually. Could we take these guys out? I mean that would be good. I don't think so though, sadly. I might do some convoy raiding over... Wow, I lost 12 submarines there, Jesus. I might do some convoy raiding here in the English Channel. Wow, I lost a lot of subs there. Uh, message from Soviet Union, changes their diplomatic status with us, cancel non-aggression pact. Okay... And why, if I may ask, Soviet Union? Different ideology, anti-fascist diplomacy focus. Oh, here they go. Now they're now they're moving all their troops to my border. Ooh, shit's gonna get real soon. I think. When is this gonna be ready? Almost. When is any of this ready? Three days. Four days. Good, 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 good. Oh, Soviet Union is bordering up again. This is not good. There we go, rocketry. How long is this gonna take? Please don't tell me 70 days. Shit. Um, let's see. So extra research slot first. I find that really important. I find that really important. Fire brigades, there we go. Backhand blow, let's go for that. Sounds like a good idea. I don't know what to think about this. Panzer three. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. I could go for the Panzer three L. Hmm. Panzer 2F. What's the difference between these two? Let's do it like this. Uh, defense the same. Breakthrough is the same. Hardness is the same. Soft attack is the same. Hard attack is the same. Armor is the same. Piercing is the same. Reliability is the same. What's the difference? There is no difference. There is absolutely no difference. What about the M version? Defense 7, that's less. Breakthrough, that's less. Hardness, that's the same. Soft attack, a little bit higher. Hard attack, that's less. Speed, it's less. Armor is less. Piercing is less. Reliability is less. Wow, those suck. 7. It's not it, it's not worth it to do, uh, to keep developing the Panzer 3. It's absolutely not worth it. Yeah, everything is just going down. It's not worth it. What about the Panzer IV? Is that worth it? Let's see. 10, 51, 80, 15, 14. That's, that's, that, that's better. Air attack is the same. Max speed is less. That's fine. Armor is the same. Piercing a lot higher. Reliability is higher. Build cost a little bit higher. Yeah, it's worth it to do this one. It really is. What about this? 5, 36, 70, 8, 6. It's a little bit better. Armor, twice as good. Piercing, it's the same. Reliability is the same. Build cost, it's less. How is it less if it's better? I don't know. Is it worth it to do the looks? 5, 36, 70, 8, 8, it's less, it's a little bit faster, armor, 
It's, la it's a little bit higher. Piercing, it's the same. Reliability is the same. It's not worth it to keep developing these things, man. It's absolutely not. 36. Armor, max speed. It's slower. Piercing is the same. Heart attack, a little bit higher. Wow. How about the Panzer compared to this one? Uh, the Tiger, I mean. Defense is higher. Breakthrough is a lot higher. Hardness, 10% higher. Soft attack, really high. It's faster. Has a lot more heart attack. Armor is a lot more. Piercing is a lot more. Reliability, a lot more. And build costs a lot more. But yeah, it, it's just not worth it to keep developing these tanks. I mean, I don't know about the age, but the G was absolutely garbage. 12, 66. Ooh. And this might be worth it. The age might be worth it. How about the J? Defense is the last breakthrough, is the last hardness, is the last soft attack, is the last. Ah, these are. Ah, oh, okay. The J is the, J is the late. Um, the late war one because the build cost goes down but yeah that is absolutely not worth it to keep developing these tanks over here so i'm just gonna skip on that holy shit that was absolutely garbage i'm not gonna lie uh let's see let's go for assembly line production start working on that and housing is almost done so that goes from 466 to 466 to Wow, that's one million more. Holy shit. That really made a difference. And that's just three percent. This is one percent more. Let's go for hospitals. Anyway, I'm going to end this episode over here. If you enjoyed this episode, don't forget to like, subscribe, and all that good stuff, and I'll see you in the next episode. Take care.